Hello guys, it is Dino King and I'm back with another prehistoric park video. By the way, I searched that prehistoric park and I did not know there was actually a show of it. I used to watch a show and this world is nothing supposed to be like that show. This show was pretty cool. Well, anyways, I will be reviewing a add-on very soon, a couple of add-ons. And, yeah... And I'm going to delete those add-ons later, because they're a waste of storage, and I won't be using them. So I do with most add-ons, I will be reviewing... Re I'm not reviewing them just to get all famous or all that shiznit on YouTube. I'm just reviewing them for fun. Because I like reviewing stuff. Apparently something's invisible. Oh, all the mobs want to get invisible. Here, let me fix this. Alright, I'm fixing it right now. And I will be doing two enclosures today. Not three, two. Next time I'll be doing two again. And, yeah, and the enclosures we're going to be making today is Meganera and Lalaquaniamoa. I have no idea how to say it. I don't know if it's written in Spanish or English. But if it isn't written in Spanish, please try and say it for me. I will, if I can, or maybe not, actually. Yeah, no. Prehistoric life will always be on this world, but this world's about prehistoric life, not other add-ons. Well, anyways, I'm going to go get the tools, and I'll be back. We will be starting with Meganera. I already set it up right here, because I don't want to waste anyone's time. Right here, we'll make it look a little viewing station. And on the other parts, will be like non-viewing stations. Except right here. It may be laggy. Uh, oh, okay. I don't know where all this lag is coming from. But, hold on, I'm gonna pause the video and see where the flag is coming from. Alright, I don't know where the lag's coming from. It's possibly because I may be particle effects from building. Or not. Well, anyways. This may take a long time. I might squip the part. Okay. Now, there's going to be no more pausing in these videos. Because... I don't want to not sh show up so much. These videos are going to be long anyway, so what's the point of pausing them? Alright, we keep on bringing it up until they touch each other. I already planned the two next dinosaurs and closures will be doing next time, so please don't suggest any. I did ask for suggestions, and only one person suggested. Because probably no one really likes, no one not likes, probably no one really watches these YouTube videos and suggest stuff. Oh, shite. Meganera are swamping creatures. 
If you haven't seen the latest new update, that's a swamp expansion coming out for a new add-on that I've seen. Prehistoric Evolved. Prehistoric Evolved is getting a massive update, my guys, actually. And if the creator of Prehistoric Evolved might be watching this YouTube video, he need you need to update the, uh, what is it called? Mosh Ops. Right now, it's animation broken because of the latest version. If you make add-ons and like they're super old and you know that you, they're not going to be updated because you're like too lazy to be updated, you need to update it for the new version. If you have add-ons that you say you're not going to update, you at least need to update for the new versions. Because if you don't update it for the new versions, then a lot of people will be sad and it will be a, a stupid add-on. Like, an example of one from Bendy, if you guys are a fan of Bendy, and I don't care if you are. Um, I'm not, personally. He, um, uh, made an SCP-096 add-on. Shortly after that, new new version of uh, Minecraft came out, and its animation was broken because of the latest version of uh, Minecraft. He never fixed it. <laughs> and... That is really annoying. Well, also, there's a bunch of other stuff that I hate about Bendy's add-ons. Some of the mobs, even though if you have mob griefing off, they're still able to break through walls and everything. It's the most annoying shit you can ever have in Minecraft. At least have a version for an add-on that lets you cancel this shit. Like, for his Siren Head add-on, let you have a version of it that will, like, not make it into, like, Cartoon Cat and Turning Survival. Like, what if people want to use your goddamn add-on to make their own map so they can have fun with your add-on instead of freaking having it until it breaks stuff? I mean, some people out there, like my friend Nick, would be saying, you just go into the files and get rid of it. Well, some I'm not doing that shit. I don't know how to use files and all that shit. Like, um, uh, some people maybe know how to use his files, but we are not big, well, some people may not be as big brain as you, but they probably can't use files, just, just like you can't. Like, I have a tons of friends that play Minecraft for a long ass time, and they still don't know how to use zip. And it's actually kind of sad if you don't, because it's 2021 in Minecraft, and you don't know how to do zip. It's That's just the most saddish shit you ever have. Like, with a lot of add-on creators, I've seen that post their add-ons on uh, MCPDL. They say, I can't wait for this to come out on this app. Like, example, one of them is called Add-ons. It's a pretty good app, and also has a bunch of freaking knockoff car add-ons that are pretty bad. And... It pretty much posts... Some... Somewhat of some crappy add-ons. A lot of add-ons out there post a lot of crappy stuff. I was going to think to put the lizard and the meganera in the same enclosure, but I just realized they will kill each other. Seems it's all dead and shite in here. I bet some people think I'm going to review Paleocraft, but I said it once in my videos, I'm not doing it. Why? Because I think Paleocraft was a waste of time. Why? Because its add-on may be cool, but some people are not even allowed to use it because they have a shitty-ass device. It's not their fault that they have a shitty-ass device. It's it's somewhat the... the, the 
it's well it's somewhat their fault if they have a bunch of storage but it's also it's also the the phone's fault pretty much because of how much storage it has and it's also paleocraft's fault for having so much goddamn storage like, I remember I was being so hyped for Paleocraft in one of my YouTube videos. I made a YouTube video all about Paleocraft and a part of it. But then I gave up on it, because Paleocraft, when it come out, and I just felt like he was just telling lies about Paleocraft coming out, because there's so many delays. At just some point, I gave up at being hyped over it. Well, my friend and Yeet, that's the most annoying one out of all my friends, never gave up being hyped about it, and before I even knew him about it. And now he's a weeb. If you guys don't know what a hell of a weeb is, it's someone that likes anime. He likes Attack on Titans. The only anime he likes. He probably just likes it because it has giant monsters in it. Probably won't watch any of the other animes. Well, anyways. So, yeah, Paleocraft. Paleocraft says he's having future add-ons come out, not just Paleocraft. At this point, if Paleocraft is actually making a bunch of shitloads of add-ons that are going to be laggy as fuck, imagine your fucking device when you're, when you're goddamn, when you have all these add-ons. Your device is going to be goddamn a mosh pit of glo glob because of how much storage it's taking up. It's going to be fucking ridiculous. Like, you may be able to play with Paleocraft right now, but wait until these other add-ons come out. Your computer may be shit, and they might be not be able to come... Com may be not to hold all this shit. And I'm not a hater of Paleocraft. I'm just saying... I'm just saying, I don't... Well, I'm not... Well, how could I say this? I like Paleocraft, but I also don't like it. It's mixed feelings for it. And for the people that do like Paleocraft, then yay, you like it. But if you are, if you do like it, but you can't play with it, that just makes it sad. Not because I'm being rude. It's because it's actually sad that you can't play with it. But you've been waiting fucking two years for this add-on. It's sad that people wait for two years and they can't get this shit. Like... Prehistoric life. It may be looking like Paleocraft, but it's not that laggy. Like, I remember playing with Paleocraft on my iPad once. One Commodorus crashed my game, and that was shit. Out of anything, the best dinosaur add-ons that came out 2021 is the Chem Chem, Prehistoric Life Update, and a whole other shit. Except pre Paleocraft. You're lucky if you got Paleocraft and it was working for you. Well, here's the Meganeras. We're done with the enclosure. And we're said enough talking about Paleocraft. Let's talk about some other add-ons. Do they get stuck? Doesn't seem like they do. It just seems like they're just sitting there. Wait, my game lagged or something. No, they're just sitting there. It's weird. Oh, now they're moving. I think I'm gonna turn the tick speed down. Okay, other add-ons. I guess Asian animals we can talk about. Asian animals, it's a pretty cool add-on. Not because it's made by a friend, it's also because the behaviors are actually cool, and it actually adds some different, some more shite to the game. You can have more fun to the game. You can tame animals, you can actually make a zoo out of survival. You can actually have fun. Instead of sitting in normal Minecraft, mining your goddamn diamonds and shooting the ender dragon, you beat the game. Like, it takes, it will probably take a couple of days to actually try and beat the game. But with some people, it might take an hour, like Dream. Well, actually, some pe well, actual people out there that just, like, don't waste their fucking time at speedrunning and don't have a, a mind of a goddamn... Well, I don't know how to say it. As a big brain, I guess? 
they just want to sit there and be big brain about everything like Dream does. Out of anything, I do I like Dream? No. You would I would expect Dream if he was really like a famous guy like people were like he was said. I would expect Dream to be one of those people that are like, uh, oh, fuck this, fuck that, fuck this shit. I don't know why he would become a famous YouTuber. Not a famous Minecraft YouTuber, just the speedrun. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm not talking shit about Dream. I'm just saying it just doesn't make sense. Some people say the things I'm saying right now is hate... But no, it's just my opinion of what I think about things. Like some people say, I know Java haters be like, I'm Asian animals are shit. Well, how about you go fucking make your own add-on? And you may be, oh yeah, it's so simple. Actually try and do the behaviors. There's a, there's a rare chance. There's like a high, not that rare. There's like, out of any add-on creators there is. 50, I would say, 30% of them can do the coding Asian Roof can. The others do simple coding. Most dinosaur add-ons are basically copies of each other. If you don't know what that means, they're copies of other dinosaur add-ons. Like, they're basically copying other dinosaur add-ons that we could already have. Like, prehistoric life. Not prehistoric life. Uh, project. Prehistoric project is a was the very first dinosaur add-on and people started making copies of it that were better like dinosaur time may be a copy of it but it's still have a good add-on it's like jurassic world evolution but yeah and if you guys don't know and if you guys don't stay up with the project prehistoric stuff they are making a new version and it looks sick but don't get your hopes up just like you like some people did with the uh, paleocraft Never get your hopes up for any add-on. Because you don't know it might be shit or not. I remember telling my friend Asian Roof, uh, I don't really have my hopes up for wings. It's because of reasons like this. Because the last time I had hopes up on for an add-on, it was shit. It, not shit. It was... Not... I wouldn't say shit. It was uh, straight... Uh, how could I say this? Um, a not worthy to wait for. Waiting for an add-on? For two years. Just to find out you can't get it. That's the most saddest thing that can ever happen to someone. Well, getting other stuff in your, in your life that's bad is the most sad thing that you can get to. I'm not saying this is just one of the saddest things. But... Yeah. Waiting a long ass time for an add-on, but you can't get it at the end. The add-on deserves to be a low rating. And if I find out a f at least a million people already play with PaleoCraft, that should not be a thing. Cuz I highly doubt anyone will know about PaleoCraft because his YouTube channel only has a thousand subscribers. Also, I like PaleoCraft's friend more... Well, I like PaleoCraft's... Well, CompyCraft. He is nice, but his add-ons, he doesn't really think about mobile players on his add-ons. Just because your PC doesn't mean absolutely anything to mobile players. Like, you may be PC, but you need to check if PaleoCraft works on your phone. And if it works on your phone... Then lucky you got a good ass phone, because other people probably don't. Like the red haired man. If you haven't seen his videos, he does like to help people. I've been in one of his streams and he was talking about something about helping someone. It was a pretty good stream, and also I liked the part when he said he was helping so the, the trying to help someone. Cause helping people is actually a really good thing in life. If you help evil, then, yeah, you're evil.
All right. It was not that the what the trash talk was. Um, we're we'll go back to watch you know, talking about Asian animals. Well, I hate the. Let's talk about actually wings. Wings is coming out soon, and it's a pretty good add-on. Can't wait for it to come out. Most of you guys must be waiting for it to come out. If you guys are out there just to have it for your zoos. Well, if you guys are just out there waiting for it to come out and you don't have Asian animals, you have to have Asian animals for it to work. It's not like one of those one-time offers, like it's a free add-on that you can just use with by itself. You need other add-ons. Unless Nick makes it, well... Oh, and saw um, Nick on YouTube. A Asian Roof makes it until like, people can actually use it a different way. By the way, his name on Discord, Nick. Mmm, shite. I must messed up. Sorry, guys. I need to do this with the Megalosaurus. Anyways, Wings is going to have uh, lot, uh, over 100 birds, so I hope your device will be good with it. Because if it's not, then it's going to be another sad thing to be sad about. Oh, wait. What the hell is this? Did I ever find this out on my... Hold up, guys. There's another plant in the add-on. That's nice. It's in... It's in Spanish. I can't read it. Well, anyways... Yeah. A lot of add-ons are coming out in 2021. Prehistoric Evolved is coming out. Wings is coming out. Possibly another add-on from Asian Roof, probably. It takes a, at least some years for Wing, for him to make add-ons. But they're worth it. They're worth the wait, unless your device, again, has trash. Or unless you can't do zip and you're like, your device is always stuck on doing zip stuff. Mine is stuck on doing zip stuff. Like, if I download something from MCPDL, it would immediately bring me to the MCPDL to try and down to do zip. It's annoying. A little bit annoying. But I get over it really quick. Prehistoric Life uh, has... I remember playing with Prehistoric Life since it started. I like the old T-Rex. They were like the very first T-Rex they had. That was like the best model I've seen of a T-Rex ever. And that's a Meganera. I hope the Meganeras won't try and F the goddamn these things outside of the enclosure. Let me test. Oh, you will try. Sounds so weird. Well, at least you try and get them over here. Well, anyways, guys. This will be the end of the video, and I hope the talking about add-ons or, like, some things I got disappointed of wasn't too harsh, but goodbye. Goodbye.